Bobby's of Orange, episode 11. When we last left the story, Ness and Polo were stuck in Threed somewhere, while Jeff had, had escaped Snowwood boarding school in order to help them. Today, we continue to follow Jeff on his adventure to the south. Here on... Bobbies are born. Hello there. Are you here to watch for Tessie too? Whoa, what's a Tessie? Well, I guess the best way to explain it would be in song. Well, the Tessie is a monster who lives down in the lake, and she's ruled despite the people who claim she is a fake. We're the Tessie Watchers, a small society who look to those other people and promptly disagree. We use all kinds of equipment, and one guy has a degree. We stand at her with binoculars to see what we can see. It amazes me so much all of the things being discovered. With the right technology, Tessie will be uncovered. Today we got word that tomorrow is the day We'll finally see Tessie and be blown away We can go back to the Institute and prove everyone wrong And finally get the recognition we wanted all along. Wow, you guys like a sea monster that could possibly not even exist. That sounds stupid. We have a team of scientific research scientists who study sciences and have told us that Tessie will show tomorrow. I can't wait. While you're here, why not enjoy some of Clyde's delicious tomato stew? He's right over there in his tent. Sure, I could go for some of that. Yo, Kiki! Go, 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 you Kiki! Wake up, it's morning. Yo, Kiki, go, 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 you Kiki! The leaves are blowing. Give me a piece of gum. Whoa! What's that monkey doing with that gum? Is he flying around? Wait a second. Is that... My shoe is untied. I better tie it like right now. Da 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 Wait a minute. Where'd that kid and his monkey go? Dude! John! Did you see it? Uh, see what? Tessie! The kid and his monkey just rode Tessie off into the distance! <laughs> what? You're crazy. I've, I've been after Tessie since I was only eight years old, so how could I possibly miss this event? Well, he's gone now. God, that was so awesome. I'm sorry you missed it, John. It's gotta suck, though, because that's, what, like, 26 years down the toilet? So Jeff and his monkey companion successfully rode Tessie to the other side of the lake. Oh, uh, there, there's a cave here. The, this, 
This is a maze. I, I think I can handle it. That wasn't so hard. Hmm. I guess that it's pretty easy, huh? Too easy. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Big Cloud and I am the Dungeon Creator. I am working with the Dr. Andonuts to become Dungeon Man. The world's first dungeon human hybrid. That sounds dangerous. Yeah, but I think it would be so cool, so I'm just going to do it anyways. Also, while you're here, why not take a rest? No, no thanks. I uh, have to go. <sighs> oh boy, another cave. Wait, I can't reach that rope. Give me some more gum. Hey, it looks like it was a good idea to bring you along, monkey. What's this shining thing? Only Ness can absorb the power of this place. Ness. That sounds so familiar. I think Ness was that ADD kid that was with that Paula girl. Wait, wait, what? The, the leader of the Chosen Four has ADD? I think so. Not sure. He's kind of hyper. He also likes shiny things, so he'd probably really dig you. Hmm. Thanks for the heads up. No problem. You kiki go 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 you kiki ki yo go 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 go. Holy crap! A girl monkey. Yo go 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 kiki ki go 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 ki 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 ki. I think I'm gonna go hang with her. Yo ki go 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 ki go 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 ki 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 go 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 go. Later, Mango. Go, go, go. I lost my monkey. Oh well, there's the lab. Hello there, I'm assuming Mr. Brickroad referred you to me. Uh, no, I'm Jeff. 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 <gasps> oh my. Your Jeff isn't my son, Jeff. <laughs> wow, it's, that's crazy. It's... Probably been ten years since I saw you. Yeah, thanks for attending those parent-teacher meetings with me, you jerk. I, I do apologize for that, my son. I've just been a busy person. Anyways, why are you here? I got some kind of psychic phone call or something from this girl and her friend who are in Threed. I'm supposed to help go get them. Mm, okay. Well, I'm, I'm currently working on a machine called the Phase Distorter, which will connect two points in time to allow travel that is previously unknown to man. But that's not done yet, so you can use the Skyrunner. It looks... sort of... old. Yeah, it's, it's quite old. Your mother and I used to sit in on our honeymoon, so it's got a good 15 years or so on it. It still runs, although it crashes quite a bit now. Gee, thanks for putting me in the vehicle with all the safety awards. <laughs> oh, well, you always did have a dry sense of humor, Jeff. How do you know that? You put me in a boarding school at the age of three. Oh, okay, well, whatever. I don't remember that. You should probably be going. Uh, I'll find the key for the machine. Go ahead and just get inside. There should be enough room for two. Hmm, okay. Oh, uh, and Jeff, let's get together in ten years or so. Okay? I love you too, Dad. And so Jeff finally left his home in winters and traveled through the skies to Threed, where he would ultimately meet his two companions. Holy crap! Are you trying to kill us? You could have crashed into us or something. Yeah, I have to admit, that was pretty close. Man, oh man, did that scare me. 
Looks like the Skyrunner took a little damage while landing. Anyway, you don't have to explain anything. I'm Jeff. I came because you called me. I'm not very strong. I'm really nearsighted, kind of shy, and I tend to be a little reckless. This is just the way I am, but uh, I'm sure we could still be friends. No, seriously, I'm I'm still really mad about almost dying a second ago there. I don't know if I can let that one pass. Yes, please. Jeff, of course we want to be friends with you. Well, let's get back to this journey then. And that was how Jeff met Ness and Paula. Next week, you'll hear of their further adventure. <laughs> You tried to kill me, and you thought you did a good job, but I'm not dead, and I'm here for payback! Oh, it's the actual narrator. Please, I didn't mean to cause any trouble. Sure you did mean to cause trouble? When you stab me in the back with a knife? Literally, I was in the hospital for two weeks. Wait a minute, what's this? You, you made a British version of the theme song? Are you crazy? Please, don't hurt me. I, I, I really just needed some exposure to the public. Oh, stuff's about to get exposed. I'm about to expose your heart to the open air, buddy. <coughs> Sorry about that, folks. Join us next time on Fobbies of Orange. Join us.